that was me. What? Shut the front door. Taco Tuesday is nice. Knock it off. Give me back my lunch. What do we got here? Grape juice in a Ziploc bag? I have to make my own Capri Suns. Ah! Hey, stupid. What the hell are you doing? That's my daughter. Yeah? What are you going to do about it? What am I going to do about it? I'll knock your teeth down your throat and out your butt, you little bastard. <laughs> Oh, you think that's funny? Him spilling juice all over the floor? This is gonna make people's sneakers sticky, and then we're gonna have to listen to quick, quick, quick all day. Well, I won't have it. Get on your knees and lick that up. What? Are, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm the principal. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. What are you talking about? That jerk is finally getting what he deserves. Yeah, Meg, now that your dad's the principal, you could finally have power over the bullies. Now you little punks get to class. And if you see Miss Milliken, tell her I said, Hey, what's up? Huh. Maybe you're right. Wow, Dad, that was really something. Miss Milliken's just a friend. Oh, I don't mean that. I mean the way you handled those guys that were picking on me. Really? I felt like I kind of lost my cool there. Not at all. That's what you've got to do more of. You were like a real principal there. I was? Yeah. In fact, if you're going to leave the school, you've got to know that kids need discipline, especially kids like them and their friends Jeremy and Bridget. Oh, really? Where might I find this Jeremy and Bridget? I don't know. Study hall, second floor? <laughs> All right, listen up, maggots. Fun's over. There's going to be some changes around here. And what better way to show you I'm serious than to smash a desk with a baseball bat? Okay, we'll pick this up on Monday. Do any of you know my wife, Lois? Tell her I'm on the bats and to come get me. She'll know what it means. Let's go. Keep it moving. Get to class. Hey, you. You salute that flag when you walk by, kid. Loads of people fought for that thing, including yours truly. You were in the service? I may have misunderstood what yours truly means. Hey, Dad, listen. The four of us got together last night, and we came up with a list of 11 students and two teachers that you need to do something about. Maybe you should start with Mark Rutledge. Why? What'd he do? He wouldn't kiss Ruth at the Sadie Hawkins dance, even though she bought him dinner before at Walt's Roast Beef. Well, I don't see how that's got anything to do with... And he called you fat. Oh, I'm gonna squish him. That's right. Don't take any crap from anyone. Oh, I won't. I'm gonna take down all these punks, just like I did in my 1980s crime series, Gary Ratowski, Hockey Cop. Give me that purse. Hey, criminal. Puck you. Get the puck out of my neighborhood. Go puck yourself. Uh-oh, here come the real cops. Hockey cop, not a cop. All right, ladies, I'm going to put this as gently as I can, but it appears that someone's rectum fell out on the stairs. Now, whose is it? Be honest. All right, that's fine. But let's just agree on a rule that if your rectum falls out on the stairs, it's on you to pick it up. Look at that, Brian. Our day has just begun and there's a line out the door. I know, we're raking it in. This is a hell of a lot easier than when I delivered pizza in New Orleans. What the hell? Minutes. It's a company promise. Half the band is an end to band. We're out blocking the street. Oh, thank God. One of us got the contact lens. We're going back to block the street. Ah, screw it. We won't stop blocking the street. Never stop blocking the street. Okay, so I think Lee Blanding gets detention, 
And for Jason O'Neill, maybe you could paint some during an assembly. Yes, good. I like that. Oh, hi, you two. What are you working on? Oh, nothing. I, um, I'm just helping Dad with his schedule for tomorrow. You know, he's really doing a great job. He's actually made the school a lot better. Huh. Well, I gotta admit, I was skeptical, but it sounds like things are going pretty well down there. You bet they are. They'll go even better after the purge. The what? Hey, Meg, how about one of these? <clears throat> one of them things, yeah? Peter, what the hell are you doing? Uh, he's just saying he wants to use his key to drive me to school tomorrow in his car. Peter, what exactly are you doing down at that school? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm doing a great job, like when I was a pro football kicker. Yay! Now I can fist bump with black guys. Nailed it, Peter! There you go! Yeah! We going to the club tonight? Not you! Okay! <laughs> Hey, Brian, what's a splat job? I, I don't, I don't know, Stewie. I'm, I'm worried that you're seeing too much. Good morning, ladies. Were the paramedics able to resuscitate Lamar Odom? They're still working on it. He's tall, get it? Okay, show's over. Everybody back to work. Yeah, about that. We gotta talk. Oh, uh, sure. What's up? We just realized we can keep all the money, take your house, and kill you if you try to do anything about it. All right, we're just going to step outside and figure out a counter. And they locked us out. What about my loaf of cinnamon raisin bread? It's mine! It's not for the whole house! Let's just go. They won. Oh, we'll see about that. Hello, I'd like to report a brothel operating on Route 6 near Round Hill Road. Thank you. You want to eat mangled raisin bread across the street and watch the cops raid the place? Yeah, I'd like that. Oh, here comes the UPS guy. Oh, I bet he's delivering those marmalade jars we ordered. Doesn't that feel like a million years ago? Yeah, we don't need those anymore. Sorry, you just send them back. You can just do that? Oh, yeah, you can just refuse delivery. You, you've never done that? I, I genuinely did not know you could do that. Well, you can. Anything you order, if you don't sign for it, it has to go back. Everyone does it. Most of what America is now is just boxes going back and forth. Students, this is a chair without a seat. Jeff Banfield, I'd like you to please come down here, take your pants off, and sit. Me? What did I do? You know what you did, Jeff! I don't even know what's going on! Just go, Jeff, or he'll start hitting that trash can with a spoon again. That means now, Mr. Banfield! What is going on here? Just a little of the three R's. Reading, writing, and wrecking this guy's sack. The school board received a very serious complaint. Mr. Griffin, you are hereby relieved of your duties. <gasps> a promotion? No, you're fired. We've reinstated Principal Shepard. Wait, he's back? But he had that crazy meltdown about his divorce. Yes, but then I went on a sex trip to Thailand, and I banged all the goofy right out of me. Wait, Dad's fired? Who did this? Who turned him in? I did. Hi, Mrs. Griffin. Hi. Hi, Patty. Why, Mom? Because what you and your father have been doing is wrong. We'll talk about this at home. Well, I guess your mom was right all along. I had no business running a school. Can I be honest with you, Dad? I thought you were awesome. You stood up for all the kids who get picked on. You stood up for me. Wow, so... So you think I did a good job being principal? No, you did a good job being my dad. <laughs>